What's up everyone? Welcome back to another gig log. We're at Grandover loading dock. We have a Lebanese slash American wedding today. Super excited for that. Getting all the stuff loaded in. Me and Trey went ahead and went over to the ceremony. We actually set up the audio this time and now we're loading all of our thing up and ready to go. So truck and trailer parked out back. One loading dock. I've expressed this before, but every wedding out here is always a lot of fun, but the load in and load out takes literally like an hour both ways. It's extra, but we charge extra. So we in the ballroom setting up again, new ballroom. I haven't been to this one at Grandover. We're always upstairs. We were at that new one last time as well. So just wanted to preference, this is kind of what we do at every event, but staging your setup. So we always take the, the base plates, the subs if that's where they're at, and we have tubes tonight, so we're trying to space it out and see what kind of design we want to do in this room. We got a nice open canvas right on the dance floor to work with. Kind of thinking putting the totems in between the tubes and seeing how that looks potentially, but also might put them on the outside. Comment down below, which one would you do? Tubes in between, totems on the outside, totems on the inside in between the tubes, let me know. Your opinion really doesn't matter for this event, but maybe for future events. All right, so fully set up. Full rundown coming later, but we do have the big VRX SRX sound system today. We have our totems. We have our four tubes on the stands, turntable booth, all that's ready to go. We have a Mackie Go ready for cocktail. Ceremony set up. We're gonna go uh, get out of here though. Um, I actually forgot my laptop, so we just did a quick Bluetooth sound check, which all I got Spotify on my phone and I don't have signal and it sounds like crap, like distorted tracks and stuff like that. So can't really get a full audio check, but everything's working. That's all that matters. So I'll see you guys uh, when we get back here. Interrupting the video real quick because I want to let you know that we're doing a massive giveaway on BothLightingUSA.com. Yes, a massive giveaway. These right here are the both lighting tubes, the brand new 360 tubes. They're amazing. We're giving away a complete four pack of them and anybody can enter to win. Just click the link down below. You can sign up different ways. You can get multiple entries if you follow us on social media. Go check it out again. We're giving away a four pack of these right here and that giveaway is going to go all the way until August 4th. You basically can sign up. Anybody's eligible all across the world. There's no limitations. Anybody can enter to win. And we're going to be drawing the winner at the DJX convention. Yeah, that's right. Both Lighting USA is going to be at the DJX convention showing off all the amazing lights. And we'll be drawing the winner for the giveaway at the DJX convention. But wait, there's more. As part of the giveaway, if you guys submit a picture of your best DJ setup with both lighting. So if you've got both lighting lights already, submit a picture of your best DJ setup and we're gonna be handpicking the top 10 setups that we see submitted and those top 10 people are gonna be eligible for the grand prize and everyone is gonna vote on who has the top setup. The winner of that grand prize is gonna be getting two of the bow flooding wash moving heads in either white or black of your choosing. So check the link down below, get yourself signed up for the giveaway to win four of these tubes and submit your photos to be eligible for the grand prize of two wash moving heads. Back to the video. What's up everyone? We're here, of course, at Grandover. Once again, two kind of back-to-back -back weddings for me over here at Grandover. It's really awesome. Today, not as crazy as setup as we just did, but we do have a really awesome package today, and especially when it comes to the sound side of things. So today for sound, we're rocking JBL VRX 918 subs, JBL SRX 815 tops, really loud, punchy system. We were estimating potentially up to 180 to 200 people, and uh, this is, a little bit of a bigger room. They were potentially going to use more, so we brought a big sound system, and also it worked out for the other gigs we were doing. I sent Drake with the LD Maui 44 G2s. We have, of course, the turntable booth, our custom turntable booth, Rain uh, 12s, S9 mixer, running sound switch control for all of our lighting with wireless DMX, Serato DJ Pro, of course, as well. One little change to the main booth setup, I am rocking in-ears now, and these are not the... <laughs> super expensive in ears you could spend thousands of dollars i will leave a link these are the kz something they're am they're on amazon they have multiple colors and honestly they sound really good so the way i have it set up tonight i'll keep you guys posted and updated as we do more gig logs but they're running down my back i have it basically ran around here to a headphone jack because it's not as long if any of you guys know a longer cable let me know but i have a headphone extension cable here plugged in so i can just plug in and be good to go for my audio side so that runs right here just tuck it here also looking 
looking at some wireless solutions potentially. Let me know if any of you guys are using in-ear monitors, what are you using for wireless solutions and what are you using for your cables? I'd love to know because I'm getting into the world of in-ears to try and save my hearing. Also got some earplugs to use tonight as well. Lighting wise, we have the both lighting tubes. And by the time this video comes out, the white ones are now available. These are not the white ones. These are painted white. So we painted our black ones white because we think it looks good. And we're also using the mic stands, but the new stands should also be out too. So uh, I'll leave a link down in the description down below and the first pin comment for the new tubes that are now available in white as well as the stands which are in black and white as well. We're also using the Bofa Lighting MH150 spots. We will be running Haze later on tonight. We have four of the Bofa Lighting S4 uplights just adding a little ambiance around, you know, the table or inside the truss columns. That is global truss as well. I don't know what else to mention. We're using Audio Technica mics. We always use Audio Technica 3004 gens. We did ceremony outside. It was beautiful. But yeah, we're in for a fun night. We have a little mix of Lebanese and American today. It's going to be exciting. Let's get into it. All right, all right. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, family and friends. Welcome, welcome to the reception for Reem and Brandon, can I hear it for a few minutes out there? Let me hear this real quick. Is this side of the room over here ready to get the celebration started this evening? How about this side of the room? Are you guys ready to get the celebration started this evening? That's what I'd like to hear it for right here. My name is Rick on behalf of Fusion Sound Lighting, Brand Over, and everyone, welcome, welcome. If I could ask you guys to please direct your attention over to the door, I got some very important people to welcome in to the reception this evening. Put your hands together and help me welcome Reed's parents. We have Nicholas and Suella Saman. And here we go, let's get the party started. Help me welcome in Brandon's parents. We have Dr. Steven and Drina Alright, first up, in our wedding party, help me welcome in, we have Nate, Maggie, and Josh. Let's keep them hands on for Camilla and Joe. Let's make some big noise here for our best man. Quick little dinner um, dinner check-in with the lapel mic. Sit down dinner, so dinner is going well. A decent amount of people are still eating. Um, I basically have a bunch of little kids on the dance floor. They have a whole kids section, like actually like these. So this is a massive ballroom. If you can see there's a transition wall here. They have a whole section, like a quarter of this room dedicated to the kids on the other side. So there's that. But yeah, Trey's eating right now. When we do these sit down events, uh, normally we like flip flop. So I'll go eat first. That way um, he can mix a little bit and then I come back. So that way I can mix in too close to the toast. So I can make sure that the vibe's just right. Basically I give him a direction to start dinner with. So far liking the in-ear monitors. I don't like how they literally force this down. Might need some tips on how to hold them. Cause you know, normally headphones aren't on you. So I've been like kind of holding them up here occasionally, but normally I leave a couple buttons unbuttoned and it's been dragging me down. So there's that. We forgot the GoPro uh, battery. So we have a GoPro, but it's dead. So Trey's gonna be on the filming tonight. Anyways, check back in with some open dancing.
So, in the books, I definitely need to consult someone with a lot more Arabic music than me. If you're a DJ out there and you DJ a bunch of Arabic weddings, actually, no, I know a guy. I should hit him up. If we do Indian weddings with him, I'm pretty sure he's got all the music I would need. Anyways, in your monitors worked out great. Uh, basically, had um, my right one in the whole time, and then I had I have these musician ear ear plugs. They're really cheap, but they just knock the sound about down about 15 decibels. I had that in my left ear. And honestly, my hearing is great, and Trey didn't have any earplugs. He's kind of hurting, so maybe I should make sure he gets some earplugs next to him. We got a whole bag of earplugs in there, right? They're right there. Right there. Well, damn. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, a lot of fun. For you guys wanting to know more about the tubes, you know, we ran them for six hours straight. We're sitting at 82% battery, still. <laughs> Literally, these tubes probably have more battery than any other light I've used, period. They're, they're, they last forever. Like, I've done two events back to back with them, and they're still down to like 30, 40% battery. It's insane how much battery these things have. So, yeah, we're gonna tear down everything, so we'll time lapse that. If you guys wanna learn more, they're doing the send off right now. If you guys wanna learn more about anything you see here from the lighting standpoint, is. <laughs> But from the lighting standpoint, it's all on bothlightingusa.com. You guys could check out all of the stuff that we have, the movers, the totems. Like I said, at this point in time, the white version of the both lighting tube should be out, and so should the stands in black and white. So both lighting USA, check them out. For you guys that don't know, that is actually my business. I have two other employees now that help out with making sure customer service is tip top for you guys. And a lot of people think we're the same as if you went direct through both lighting. We are completely different. We have a two year warranty and within those two years, if anything breaks with your lights, we will fix it or replace it. No problems, nothing asked. We'll even pay the shipping to and from to make sure we get it fixed and back to you all working and ready to go. So you basically guarantee that you're gonna get two years minimum of operational time out of your lights. And of course we accept returns. If you buy a pack of the tubes and you don't like them, you can return them to us. No harm, no foul. Check us out if you wanna learn more, bothlightingusa.com. We have all kinds of other benefits besides Besides that, you can literally call one of us directly. We'll tell you everything you need to know. And we have the pre-program sound switch solution where um, basically what you saw is the pre-program sound switch solution, except not as good. There's a new version, probably out by now, with pixel control on the tubes. Marcel has been working on that for like two weeks straight now. And let me tell you, it's a lot of programming to make these things do pixel map stuff. But anyways, that's coming and you can download it and then you'll have program DMX lighting without ever having to program anything. Pretty cool. Anyways, we're gonna break down. All right, all broke down. Now we got a journey out this place. All right, that's it for the gig log. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, hashtag squad if you're still watching at this point in the comments down below. And um, peace out, keep the record spinning, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace, it's hot, I'm late, I'm tired, and all that. Goodbye, peace.